Hello, hello, this is Christina Vashko and you're watching Motherpreneur TV, where we kiss our excuses goodbye and cozy up to a life we love. Now, have you ever wondered what else our children are learning at high school other than, you know, the boring stuff like geometry, uh, science, mathematics, the facts? Because wouldn't it be nice if our children had teachers who installed more than just knowledge to them? Meet my guest. It is the amazing, fabulous and also talented Miss Cindy Lacroix, high school teacher with over 30 years of experience and a grand example of doing just that. Enjoy. So tell me, you are one of the most kick-ass, actually, teachers I've ever met. I mean, I went to school for God knows how many years, and now my children, and my oldest son, yeah, he's blessed to have you. Thank you. So do you see yourself as a teacher first, or as an artist? Teacher first. Teacher um, first, yeah. I knew I was going to be a teacher before I even started school, um, when I was four and five years old, I used to make the neighbor kids and my sisters come to class under the cherry tree. I did that too! <laughs> I did that too! And, um, <laughs> and so my parents just kind of always knew I would be a teacher, but I loved every grade and as I would finish each grade I would say to my mom, I'm going to teach that grade. And then I got into high school and I was really torn because then I knew I was going to teach high school of some sort. Um, and I'm a really avid reader, and so I thought it would be English. Mm -hmm. And um, I really love human nature and where it comes from and how it works. So I fell in love with psychology. And uh, so those were my two passions as I was uh, beginning my university years. And then um, the government decided that we wouldn't teach psychology anymore. Right. So I had to choose a second area. And um, I chose theater. Right. Um, so. I really didn't think I was going to be a drama teacher, um, but that's how I got my first job. They were, well, we need, an, you know, we need a teacher, but all we really care about is getting a drama teacher. Will you come and teach drama? And I was like, sure, I'll come and teach you drama. Know, um, I love being a mom, and um, that's sort of part of how I come at my job as well. You know, I'm not just teaching kids, I'm loving kids. And I think you, know, you can love a lot of people at one time. You don't just love your own birth children, or you don't just love your husband. You love you know, your extended family, and this is what this place is. It's your extended family, and so. So from your experience being, in the, being here at school for 25 years, but being a teacher for over 30, what would make, what is your perfect teacher? You're out there, you have to not only teach the ABC and this is like this AB blah blah, mm -hmm. you also have to instill more in the mm -hmm. student. What is it? The thing to understand is no matter how much you love being a teacher, you can't be a great teacher without the children wanting to go on the journey with you. Like I've always, I always knew that when I became a teacher that I would be equally a person. So saying um, a math teacher has to teach one plus one is two. Yes. Now there's a system to teach one and one is two. When you teach drama, you have to teach also working together, expression, and how to deal with conflicts. This is more than just mm -hmm. how to yes. read this sentence. Yes. Yeah. The most important thing that you teach is how to be a great human being. Gosh. So the perfect teacher as far as I'm concerned, is somebody who is teaching empathy, sympathy, they're two different things, yeah. love, showing love, working as a team, and having compassion for the people who might not have the same strength as them. So my job is to be, is, well, it's really easy to care about another human being, yeah. right? So the kids in the class see you care. Uh -huh. So then they know what angle to take. They know how to feel for that child. Whereas if they see me not caring, then that is the new angle that they will take. 
Right. They'll be yeah. like, okay, she just pushed him in the corner and is letting him fail. We don't care, right? And we are, we are offered the opportunity as teachers to teach and learn about that, about what it means to be a person in a group. And can you describe yourself with three words or less? Because I want to show you what the students have to say about you. <laughs> okay, three words or yes, less. Um, energetic, risk taker, love. Nice. Okay, let's hear it from your crew. <laughs> okay. I say she's a go-getter. I would say she is positive crazy. Hey, Ed. It's not a bad crazy. It's like a really positive crazy. I really like her. But do you know what, Ed Carr? We are lost in translation anyway, so it doesn't matter what you say. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's like a mother. Oh, she's so amazing. <laughs> um, amazing and unique, fabulous and truthful. Because it's like one of those devils that you don't want to sell your soul to, but you're forced to anyways. <laughs> because she's great and you just want to be like her. Yeah. Passionate. She's very passionate about what she does. And uh, crazy, <laughs> crazy. She's she's very crazy, but in a very useful way, in a very good way. I mean, that wasn't too far off, was it? I was gonna say crazy. <laughs> it was on there. It was in my list, but I was like, okay, they might not pick that word, or they might, you know, I don't know. But crazy is good, isn't it? Yeah, it crazy is. is. It's a compliment. I think so yeah. because you have to be slightly like risk taker or crazy <laughs> to do anything the size of what we do. Doing the shows out there, that's a bonus. Okay. You know, okay. that's the cherry on the top of my job. But my job is everything that's in the banana split. You know, it's the whole cotton picking thing. It's the nuts, <laughs> it's the fruit, it's the uh, toppings, yeah. it's the whipped cream. You know, it's, it's the whole entire thing. Um, and I love my classes. Starting at 8.30 in the morning till uh, you know, the time I finish at the end of the day. I'm not saying I love every moment. My job is really hard. But I really love what happens in my classes just as much as I love what happens up there. Uh -huh. What is your legacy to the world? She loved me. Oh, this girl makes me cry. It makes me cry. Oh, no, <laughs> that's sweet. And if everybody could be like you, I'm pretty sure none of us has to worry about their children. Oh, gosh. Cindy, thank you so much. You're welcome. That it has been... Amazing, wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. So, the biggest reward is when you stand at the back of the theater and you watch your kids perform their work. You cannot imagine the feeling in your heart that you have given them something to be proud of for the rest of their life. You've given them that foundation to know that they can be really successful when they work really hard. That's it. I'm going to steal one of their words. Oh, thank they're, you. They're <laughs> she is passionate, but she is also madly encouraging. Now, isn't Cindy just fantastic? I, mean, I look at my son and say, lucky you, this woman is fantastic. And I must give kudos to all of you teachers out there who teach with so much heart and soul and with so much dedication that, yes, we as parents can only wish and hope for. And please never stop believing in our children. Awesome. Now, I would like to hear from you. Have you ever had the privilege to have a teacher? who made you feel like a million dollars, who made you feel yes and can do anything, who believed in you, who brought the best out of you. Yeah? If so, please share with us what did he or she do and how did he or she make you feel? You can leave us the comments below the video in the comment section. And also, if you enjoyed what you just watched and listened to, please share it with your network of friends. Also, you can subscribe to weekly episodes here on Motherpreneur TV. And with this, our time is up and I say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you again next week. And until I do, remember, we are more than just mothers. We are an inspiration to ourselves, to our families, and to the world.